These are without a doubt the best I've ever had. They are fantastic, super delicious, perfectly cooked, flavor, spot on, true, traditional gorditas. This is how we do it. This is how we do it in the Rio Grande Valley. We all know the story. Someone tells you that there's a must try hole in the wall restaurant that serves the absolute best food in town. We just ate at the place that gave that phrase its meaning. El Posito is a 110 year old tortilleria and restaurant tucked away right in the heart of McAllen, Texas. The food here is epic. El Posito restaurant and tortilla factory is actually tucked away behind the busy nightlife district in McAllen. And to get there, you need to squeeze into the alley between 16th and 17th street to find their storefront. There you'll find the menu painted right on the walls and you'll be drawn inside by the delicious scent of fresh corn tortillas and gorditas prepared the traditional old school way by using fresh nixtamalized corn. This is what gives El Posito its signature and authentic flavor and part of what makes it an institution of McAllen. Inside, you'll find the stuff that foodie dreams are made of. And while we decided what to order, we also got to see the staff preparing the food right in front of us. We tried some delicious gorditas filled with barbacoa, nopales, and asado de puerco. For the tacos, we had to go classic with papas con huevo, and we revisited our childhood digging into delicious flour tortillas hot off the stove and slathered with butter. Oh man, those are great memories and delicious tortillas. It's easy to see why this humble storefront has been serving the RGV community for more than a century. What blew my mind the most about visiting El Posito were the memories it brought back to me. Back when I was a young man working in McAllen, there used to be a staircase that led to a basement where all the food was prepared and served. That's where the name El Posito came from. It was literally a hole in the wall that you had to climb into and the eating experience today was just as good as I remembered. Y'all buckle up and join me as we dive into El Posito and all the great food and when you're done watching this video, I know you're going to be booking the next flight to McAllen, Texas. Vamonos! We're closed. Actually, the restaurant part of this closed down during the pandemic, but the real El Posito that's been around here for over 100 years is actually out back. We've got a menu of gorditas rellenas, tortillas hechas a mano, that means handmade tortillas, tamales de pollo, puerco y chicharrones. The smell here, they have a fan, an extractor fan here blowing out this direction. The aroma is intoxicating. It smells so good, like corn, like corn tortillas, fresh masa for tamales. The smell is just so good. Let's go inside and check it out. Nopalitos, those are my mom's favorite. I might just try one of those because I haven't had that in a very long time. Nopalitos is... Barbacoa. Oh, barbacoa. Tenemos que probar la barbacoa de seguro, garantizado. Me da una gordita de barbacoa con poquito de frijoles, una gordita de nopales, una gordita de asado de puerco, Un taco de papas con huevo. Dame una por una, porque le voy a, le voy a dar una tortilla de mantequilla para que me pruebe luego. Oh, el ok, sí. Si no te gusta, no la paga. <risa> no, sí me va a gustar. Desde chiquillo comíamos tortillas sí, con harina. Aquí, sí. Yo me acuerdo que vienen aquí. Sí. Este, señores, que ahora tienen a sus nietos. Ajá. ¿Eh? Qué bonito. Fresh flour tortilla with some butter. Man, it don't get no better than that. <risa> This brings back a lot of memories. I mean, you don't need nothing but butter on these, man. Look how soft they are. Just super nice. Oiga, señora Irma, ¿cuántos años tiene usted trabajando aquí? 20. 20 years. This young lady's been working here, señora Irma. ¿Usted se acuerda cuando de veras era posito que la entrada estaba por acá y Eva para abajo, verdad? Ajá, sí. Yo cuando estaba bien joven veníamos a comer aquí. Sí, antes la puerta era por allá. Sí, y luego vimos que está cerrado el restaurante enfrente. Sí. ¿Eso cuándo se cerró, oiga? Cuando la pandemia. Okay, Desde entonces, la pandemia se cerró. Pero tienes algún nuevo barracón. Sí. Papas con huevo, ah, from a lady la, over here. Sí. Got to, una gordita, gotta, gotta una gordita queen de... Before me. <laughs> they make gorditas here for large events, for big orders. Ah, hicimos best. también una, por, nos pidieron 400 gorditas para una este, boda. Oh, wow, para una boda. qué bonito, uh -huh. qué bueno, qué bueno. Qué Porque bonito. vienen señores y, y dicen, a mí me traían desde chiquito y sí, ahora ellos ya tienen como 80 años y oh, todo eso. Y... Wow. Sí, tienen más de 100 años aquí, sí. ¿verdad? Over 100 years they've been making gorditas, sí. tacos, and just really wonderful and delicious sí. Mexican food. The real deal. We got our gorditas ready to go, so we're going to take care of our tab and then go sit outside on the tailgate and get some really good gorditas in the belly because I'm hungry. <laughs> so we have two kinds of salsa, salsa verde, salsa roja. I know they're going to be delicious with our gorditas. So I'm going to open one of these up and let's see what we got here. Which one is this first? 
Barbacoa. Can't go wrong with barbacoa. Always a good South Texas traditional barbacoa. Mmm. I'm gonna try the green salsa first. Oh man. That salsa just puts that extra little boom. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try the red salsa on this gordita. Got some nopalitos here. Another South Texas tradition. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh man. I'm gonna have to order one of these to go for my mom. Cause she loves nopales. These are so good. See, they're nice and toasty on the outside. Perfectly cooked on the inside. We've tried making these at home and we can't seem to get them to cook perfectly on the inside. Mm, 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 mm. 100% A plus. That's a big home run right there, man. All right, up next, asado de puerco. Beautiful, look at that. That looks great. Woo -wee. I'm gonna go back to the green salsa for this one because I already have some red chili in there. Oh, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. This is good. Oh, my goodness. Asado de puerco is one of our favorite things to eat at the house. This is the real deal. This is super delicious, perfectly cooked. Again, you see the nice toasty exterior of the tortilla. The meat inside is perfectly cooked. It's not too soggy or runny. I mean, it's just perfect, absolutely perfect. I've had gorditas at a lot of different places. These are without a doubt the best I've ever had. They are fantastic, super delicious, perfectly cooked, flavor, spot on, true, traditional gorditas. They grind their own corn and man, you can taste it in the product here. This is how we do it. This is how we do it in the Rio Grande Valley. Oh. <laughs> Gordita, 100 years in the making. Over 100 years, actually. You stop at almost any little taqueria on the side of the road, rotate stand, a lot of food trucks. That's the way you get your salsa, just like that. A little bag with a knot on it, then you just cut a little hole on it, squirt it on your tacos or whatever you're eating, in this case, gorditas. Go to town. Boom! I love this green salsa. It's super delicious. Fantastic. Man. I can tell this barbacoa has the brains in it. It has the sesos. Barbacoa con sesos. <laughs> That's a good stuff, man. The corn, you can taste fresh ground corn in there. It's not like what you buy at the store. They're not even close. All right, man. I'm three gorditas down. I'm plum full. Friends, if you've never been to El Posito in McAllen, Texas, you need to come. This place has been here for over a hundred years. The lady in charge of the kitchen has been working here for over 20 years. So you know that she knows what's going on and what she's doing. She has mastered the gorditas. There is an art to it. There's a trick. It's la mano, as they say. There's a feel and a touch to it. You have to get that masa just right. And apparently here at El Posito, they've nailed it. They have really nailed it. We had a really good time recording this, not to mention that I had a good time eating some really good gorditas. Fresh ground corn, perfectly cooked gorditas, absolutely delicious. Fresh homemade tortillas with butter. That was an extra treat they gave us. That was the bonus. Really, really enjoyed that. It was fantastic. Remember to like, comment, and share. Tell your family and friends about our pages and our channel. If you guys want to get some APC Wow Rub or APC OG Rub, go to pitmaster.us. If you want to really up your barbecue game, several notches, go to pitmasterclass.us. Friends, thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. We'll see you at the next one. Keep the smoke light, make it work. Boom! All right, we're gonna walk over to this mural that I saw a while ago. I guess that's the right word, mural? 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 This is 17th Street. It is known as the party place in McAllen, right down here, downtown McAllen. Check out that mural, folks. I wish you were here to eat some of these awesome gorditas that I just had a little while ago. I love the valley, that's where I'm from. All I need is a cold beer. <laughs> mm. It ain't ever too early for a cold beer. Had a lot to eat. Had to walk a little bit of it off. It's time to go home and take a nap or drink a cold beer <laughs> and fire up the pit for tonight. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go. Vámonos.